How to check the authenticity of Apple Charger? Use the GE Fast Charger testing adapter. Not only can test authenticity quickly, but also supports the detection of PDQC protocols of the charger. See cable detection, as well as output charging detection. This video mainly explains how to use the Fast Charger testing adapter. E. Charger detection. Connect the charger to be tested to the power supply. The two interfaces on the upper side are both for inputting. Be sure to choose one of the two. After connecting to the input interface with USB cable, click Detect. When testing the charger, do not connect the charging device to the input interface to avoid the damage due to voltage boost. The system starts to detect the protocol. Since no output device is connected, the voltage, current, and power here are shown as zero. After the detection, the test result will be shown in the dotted line below. The results of different chargers will be varied. It only supports the detection of the authenticity of Apple charger. For chargers of the third party, it will detect whether the charger supports QC, PD protocols. R. C cable test. Insert the data cable into the input interface. C cable detect. Here it says electronically marked cable not detected, which means there is no e-marker chip inside this data cable. Next, let us test another one. Plug one end of the data cable into the input interface. C cable detect. The type is passive cable. It means this data cable has an e-marker chip inside. We can also see the USB 3.2 data cable. 3. Charging data monitoring. On the lower side of the adapter are Type-C and USB output interfaces. Choose one of the two to use as well. Insert the data cable connected to the mobile phone into the output interface. Choose one of the two to use as well. Click Power On. The input voltage, output voltage, current, and power of the device during charging are displayed on the screen of VES Pro in real time. With the above data, Users can estimate whether the power of the charger is false. Pay attention to charge the device with the fast charger of same brand. Since the fast charging protocols are the same, the charging power is usually normal or the maximum. On the contrary, if the protocols of the device and the fast charger are different, the charging power may not to be maximized. Now we are charging this iPhone with authentic Apple charger. We can see that the charging power is 161S. Now let us change the phone to Redmi. The power is only 81S. Then change the charger to Redmi 1. Now the power is 221S. You can analyze whether the charging power of the device is normal and the maximum charging power through the input voltage, output voltage, current, and power during charging, according to the actual situation.